This is Boogie. He's one of our Soul Farm horses. He's in his mid to late 20s, and when horses get older, they can have things just like people with their teeth that need attention. Sometimes they wear unevenly, they have sharp points, there can be decay, um, loose teeth, and he was showing signs of a little bit of discomfort, so I thought I would have our dentist out to take a look. This is Sophie. She's our equine dentist, and this is Boogie. He's going to get a dental checkup today. So I'm just doing my um, before dental exam, just kind of checking out his, his muscles on his face, looking for asymmetries. I'm checking his TMJs to see if there's any sensitivity going on, um, where his teeth can affect the range of motion of his jaw and cause tension in his temporal mandibular joints. Yeah, he's got new incisors. What does he have? Is that good or not? <laughs> He's very petite. Yeah, they're just worn. Just worn down. Can you tell? Mm -hmm. Like, I age. always um, heard you could tell their age by their teeth. Yeah, usually once they're over 20, you can't really give too much of a, a close age. He's definitely in his, I would say, late 20s. Okay. The way his incisors are just worn. I know. He's a big old boy. <laughs> Restricted to the right. So horses chew in a lateral range of motion. They should be chewing to both sides. Like grinding? E evenly, yep. And uh -huh. he's restricted to the right. We'll see how he does. We'll try him without sedation first. See how he handles it. I usually like to just let him feel it, take a break, check it out, what we're doing. So you're gr are you like doing the filing right now? Yep, on the front. Tell us why you need to file horses' teeth. So horses have hips and not teeth that they erupt throughout their life. So they're born with about three to four inches of tooth root. So they erupt as they wear. And if they're not wearing evenly, they get really sharp points on their cheek and towards their tongue. And then their incisors erupt at the same rate as the molars. So you want to keep the incisors reduced to maintain the occlusion of the back. So you say they erupt as they wear. So the more they wear, the faster they grow? growing like fingernails. Mm -hmm. And once they get into their 20s, they start to run out of teeth and they can start to expire. So you're able to keep your hand in there because there's that gap in the teeth, right? Yep. yep. So I have my hand right where the bit would go on the bars. So then it doesn't hurt when he bites me. Yeah, so that's like a big gap where it's nothing but molar, I mean, nothing but gums and no. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that range of motion was related to something in his front teeth, huh? It, it can be both. Yep. Okay. Sometimes it's the front, sometimes it's the back. I'm just, I always clean up the incisors just to make sure there's no little rims restricting anything. But he's got a good length, you know. He's not super long in the teeth like a lot of older horses. Oh, of course not. Mm -hmm. So what is this thing called? This is a speculum. So this just holds his mouth open so I can work in the back without getting my arm crushed. So I'm just going to go really slow with him since he's not sedated. Okay. Go and I can the hold them, remember. Let him feel it, know what we're doing. I wouldn't like that. Okay, I mean, having mind. my mouth open like that. But he's being so good. Know what you're doing, but they're usually pretty good about it. Well, maybe he knows his teeth haven't been feeling all that great, so he'll be happy. 
happy. How many molars do they have? They have, so they have um, 12 uppers, 12 lowers. So in each row of teeth, they have six. So six on each side, okay. four rows all together. Take a boy. Let the teeth go all the way back to underneath their eyes. Oh, that's good. Well, I don't know if it's good or not. If he's got like a lot of uh, decay or something, that might be easier if it was loose, right? Yeah, I mean, when they get to this age, it's just it's harder for them to chew because their teeth just get cupped out and smooth. So they almost feel like glass. And they can't grind up hay or grass anymore. So a lot of times, in older horses, if they start to lose their body condition, you got to feed them like a, um, a ground up hay, alfalfa cube, alfalfa pellet. Just something that they don't really have to chew as much. I'm just gonna, he's got some sharp edges that I'm gonna reduce to make him comfortable. Okay. And then I'll look at him again and go in and give all the teeth another really good wiggle just to make sure nothing's loose. And then you can, if you wanna stick your hand in there and feel him, you can. You know that's what I wanna do. <laughs> work quick yeah. you know yeah they lose patience and they'll feel it and say okay she's not here to kill me we'll get through it right oh, he's following you now <laughs> how long have you been doing this this is my fourth year and where did you go to school to do this? I went to Spencer LaFleur School, the Natural Balance Dentistry. And then I did the Midwest Equine Dental Academy in Michigan. So um, Natural Balance, it sounds like it's like a unique perspective on this kind of work. I mean, was there something about it that you yeah, were attracted so to? Traditional dentistry doesn't address the front teeth. And then a lot of times you're just zipping off the sharp points that diminish the molar table angles. So what Spencer does is he teaches to maintain the molar table angles. So you're not just addressing that one side of the molar, you're addressing both sides. Mm -hmm. Because they need the stability. How much training's involved? <laughs> the, so the Michigan school was taught by a vet and that's a month and done. Spencer's is two years. There you go. That was better, right? Okay, move these lowers. Good job, buddy boy. <laughs> Once they know what you're doing, they're really good about it. Sometimes I know, that's so just, funny, he's following you around. <laughs> they just put up a little fuss in the beginning because they don't know what's going on, but once they feel that their mouth feels better, they're like, okay, we can do this. And usually they want it done, as you can see. Good job. So you can see where he's 
where he's cupped out. Oh, okay. See that how the molars are just worn away? Uh-huh. You can see that there too. Yeah, so you can see he kind of has a, a weaker top line, but he's got this big old belly. Yeah. So a lot of times that's just from not chewing, like if all this pasture hay is not chewing it to a pulp. Uh -huh. they, they call it a hay belly because he's not properly digesting it to, to put it all to use for his embodiments. You see that? I do, but I never heard that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, a lot of times if you look at their poop, you'll see longer stems in there that they're just pooping out and they're not fully digesting. Okay. I'm hoping that Boogie will feel better in his teeth now. He's not an easy keeper, which means it's hard to keep weight on him. So um, we do everything we can to try to keep Boogie healthy and happy.